Hello everyone. Today I'll be sharing another festive uh, cookies. Uh, it's going to be the uh, pineapple tarts. I'll be making the open face pineapple tarts this time. Um, it's more on sharing uh, of the pastry recipe. Uh, I'll be using the store-bought um, pineapple paste. You can Google online and choose um, which uh, pineapple paste um, jam or jam that you like because some like it with spices, some not. So um, for me, um, I will be sharing uh, the pastry recipe. Um, I'll be using the store-bought uh, pineapple paste so it's drier and stickier. So the baking method is slightly different. So I will adjust the baking uh, time and method and I'll explain more um, in the video later. Uh, for the ingredients, please refer to the description box below. I've listed them and let's start now. Okay, I'm using uh, the store-bought uh, pineapple paste. So I'm going to take out some. Okay, usually store-bought pineapple paste uh, is very sticky, very concentrated. Okay, I'm taking out about 200 grams for now. Make sure you wash your hands. before rolling the jam okay all right okay I'm gonna divide each um, ball about six gram just roll I'll be making the uh, smaller size, bite size pineapple tarts. So um, six gram for me is uh, is a good size. Referring to the jam. Okay. So I'm going to divide first, weigh everything. If you're not very particular, you can just uh, eyeball each. So I'm going to weigh and roll later. I'm going to continue uh, dividing the jam and come back later. See everyone shortly. Okay, now I'm going to roll. After dividing, I'm going to roll. Okay. 
The reason why uh, pineapple tarts uh, are so expensive is because of the labour work and also if it's homemade uh, pineapple paste or jam, it's going to cost a lot. Mostly it's the labour work, especially open face uh, tarts. you see what I mean later on. Okay, continue rolling. Shape them into round balls like this. Okay, I'm going to finish up all and see everyone uh, shortly. Okay, I'm going to sieve uh, the dry ingredients, flour, then the uh, corn flour. Okay, flour and corn flour. Okay, just uh, combine well and set aside. Butter, icing sugar, okay, I'll be using uh, the silicone bitter, speed one, two, three, four. I'm going to cream uh, the butter and sugar till light and fluffy. Increase to speed 5. Want the butter to soften uh, slightly. Speed 6. Continue mixing. Speed one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's check. Okay, I'm going to give another quick scrape. Going to get a for a while more. Six. six. Now 
Next, I'm going to add in egg, one at a time. Speed one, two, three. Speed four. Scrape it. Add in the rest of the egg, the yolks. Okay. Continue mixing. Speed one, two, three, four. Combine everything. Okay, next I'm going to add in the vanilla extract. Big one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to bring everything to the center. Scrape the bottom of the bowl. Clean the bitter. Okay, I'll be adding in the sifted dry ingredients now. I'm going to split into three batches. So, first batch. Start with speed one. Okay, the second batch. Speed one. Always start with speed one because we don't want a snow a snowstorm to happen in the kitchen. One. Then I can increase to speed two. Stop. Scrape. Okay, I'm going to add in the rest of the dry ingredients. Okay.
pick one. Speed two. I'm I'm not going to over mix the dough. Once you see the dough is pulling off from the side of the bowl, starts to to become clean. You see? You can stop now. Okay. Can you see? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape the side of the bowl. Okay. That's all. I'm not going to over mix the dough. Okay, the dough is ready. I'm going to shape um, the pastry shortly. See everyone in a bit. Okay, now I'm going to start shaping the touch shell. This is how the dough looks like. So I'm going to gather everything. If you find the dough too soft, just pinch some out and the rest put in the fridge. But it's quite manageable. So, okay, flour the mat lightly. some out okay line uh, the baking trays get a rolling pin ready piece of plastic bag and also uh, the pineapple tart mold okay I'm going to use the small one like this Okay, I'm going to roll, uh, I'm going to use, I have this rolling pin with a ring at the side. I'm going to use the quarter inch ring. Okay, over the dough like this. And roll. This tool actually make our work much easier. Choose uh, the pattern flower which you want. Okay, done. Place on the line baking tray. We'll trace the second one. Okay, press out gently. Okay. All right. Okay, one more. Okay. Okay, the tuck shells are all uh, shaped. Okay, uh, leave some of the dough behind for decoration. And then, uh, 
Okay, let me explain this. I'm going to pre-bake the tart shell because I'm using the store-bought uh, pineapple paste. So um, I'm going to just explain what I'm going to do uh, since I'm using the store-bought uh, jam or paste. And I'm going to write everything down if you're using homemade, uh, which you can cook uh, on the moist side, uh, how you bake them and how long you bake them in the description box. So as for now, egg wash, one egg, and a tablespoon of water whisk together. Egg wash the tart shell. Okay. Lightly egg wash. Honestly, even if you get the store-bought pineapple paste and you bake um, the cookies uh, at home, the tarts at home, the pineapple tarts at home, it's still um, cheaper compared to because you get more, more of the cookies, more of the tarts. So it's, it actually is worth uh, baking at home, whether it's a uh, store-bought pineapple paste or Homemade. As for homemade uh, pineapple paste, you will need to cook them in advance. I usually prefer to um, cook them about a week before baking. Okay, I'm going to pre bake. the cut shell, three trays at one go, so level one, three and five. Okay, push all the way in. Rear heat plus convection, 170 degrees Celsius. I'm going to bake them for about 12 minutes. Okay, while waiting for the tart shells to be pre-baked, uh, get the roll uh, pineapple paste ready. And then um, I'm going to use I'm going to re remove the ring. This is one, uh, one eight uh, inch thickness. Get the, I'm using a fondant um, cutter, flour. You can, you may use any um, shape that you have at home. Okay, I'm going to roll this out first. Sometimes I prefer them thinner. So it can, let me remove this. Okay, I know that's one egg. I'm going to continue rolling a bit more. Okay, get them ready. Okay, uh, going to wait. Wait. Okay, the tart shells have been pre-baked. So place the jam on the top, in the center. Press down a little bit. Leave uh, the oven uh, on.
center, press a little bit, okay? If you don't mind the jam to be um, <coughs> hardened a bit on uh, the surface area, you can egg wash, place the jam and bake. And bake and you don't need to pre-bake and all that. It'll be easier. Okay, done. Smells so good. Look at the jam. It's not too dark in colour. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to leave them on the wire rack this way to cool down slightly before I transfer onto the wire rack. I'll see everyone shortly. Okay, transfer uh, the cookies onto the wire rack and let them cool down completely. If you prefer um, the pastry to be darker in colour, then uh, you may want to skip uh, the one tablespoon of water uh, for the egg wash. Just um, an egg will do, uh, but I prefer golden like just very very uh, light golden brown okay i'm going to continue transferring all and i'll see everyone shortly chinese pineapple tarts are done for today remember make sure they are cooled down completely before storing into an airtight container or else they will start molding please 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 remember or else all your efforts will go down the drain I, I just want to repeat this again. Make sure they are cooled down completely, including the jam part. Okay, uh, if you store them uh, in a correct correct way, cool down completely, store them, seal them properly, it should be good up to ten days. Okay, you can bake them in advance uh, for your upcoming uh, festive uh, celebration. Okay, I'll see uh, everyone again very soon. Happy baking!